Hi again, everybody. TV3 meteorologist Bill Vesey here. Another nice day. We're expecting a front to get here a little past midnight tonight. And the front head of this way caused this weather up in Iowa today. Vinton, Iowa, not that far from Des Moines. And you can see a big snowstorm up there across uh, much of Iowa. A lot of the northern plain states got a lot of snow today. All right, there's the front. You can see it's through Vinton of the uh, blue and the white, all clouds and sleet and snow up there. Real mess up there in Chicago right now. Front extending all the way down to Texas, uh, crossing the state currently. Let's take a look with the attack. Whoa, 90 right now in Del Rio, 91 in Laredo. But behind the front, 60s, 50s, and even 46 currently in Amarillo. Again, the front will be here after midnight tonight. Drought monitor, we check it every Thursday here on TV3. Dry conditions across most of the area. You can see moderate drought conditions now starting to spread into the area. And there is a possibility of rain within the next week. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Nice picture there from the Lexcam looking at North Beach. 79 after a high of 86. The record high today, 88, didn't miss it by much. And a moderate breeze out of the south-southeast at 16 miles per hour. Current temperature, 69 at Port Aransas, 70s up and down the coast. And then you get inland moving to the upper 80s. 89 right now, Ebronville, Alice, Robstown. I know earlier today, Robstown did reach 90 degrees. But change is coming. The front will come through about 1 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a mainly dry front, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's a little bit of patchy mist or a light rain along ahead of the front. Nothing significant in the overnight hours. And then during the day tomorrow, I'll tell you what, overcast most of, if not all, day tomorrow. Tomorrow's not going to be the greatest day. Hope you enjoyed today. And then uh, Saturday a lot better. We'll have clouds in the morning and then skies will become mostly sunny on Saturday afternoon. Another cold front. This will be the second of three. And that weak dry front will be here early Sunday. Not going to have a big effect on daytime highs, but you'll feel it in the overnight lows. And a third front, the strongest of the three, will be here on Wednesday. And this is going to be an interesting front setting us up for winter-like weather. After a spring day today, a week from today is going to feel like winter again. The rain chances over the next seven days, decent rain chances with along and behind that Wednesday front. You can see the rain chances ramping up here Wednesday and Thursday of next week. So lows in the morning, temperatures as low as 51, 56 here in Corpus Christi, and the feel likes down as low as 46. So it looks like the coolest will be Beeville with a temperature of 51 and a feel like of 46. And then the time cast for tomorrow, cloudy, breezy, and cool. A high temperature tomorrow of only 61. And highs tomorrow, most everybody will be in the low 60s tomorrow. Valfuria 66, Evernville 67. Water temperature 65. And tell you what, with the winds up, I'm going to call for a small craft advisory for the bays and the Gulf. Sun up at a quarter after seven. We'll have a high tide one tomorrow afternoon. And the seven-day forecast following that third front, much colder, winter-like, late next week. A week from the day of high of only 54. We'll have an update at six. Back to you. All right. Thank you.